Our teeth are with us for life, from our early childhood, through our reckless adolescent years, into our distracted adult years, and of course into old age. They're with us always, mostly, and we throw all different kinds of things at them. But what do our teeth actually mean to us, and how should we be looking after them? While most people take them for granted, when you think about it, our relationship with our teeth is a lifelong partnership. Like being flatmates forever. I mean, if our teeth could talk, just imagine the stories they could tell. So I've decided to interview an expert on the topic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lorraine, my oldest tooth. Tooth, thanks for joining us. So nice to talk to you. Oh, first pre-molar. Been with you since you were six years old. Oh, it's, this is the first time we've been able to speak. I mean, what's it like being a tooth? You must have lots of stories hanging out in this mouth. It can't be easy. No, it's not for everyone. We do like to be, you know, loved and respected and, you know, sometimes just maybe cleaned. Now, it may surprise you to learn our teeth actually begin to form roughly two months after conception. And according to Professor of Dentistry David Manton, a few months after we're born, the first tooth appears and our relationship with our teeth begins the way all good relationships should, with an eruption. They start erupting at about six months of age. Baby teeth are extremely important. When they're allowed to you know, decline in, in health, so when, especially when they're allowed to decay, that can lead to serious infections for children and in the worst cases can end up with death. Uh, OK, death is a pretty good reason to brush your children's teeth, but fear not. At six months, all those tiny ivories really need is a little scrub with a face cloth. And then at 12 months, you can start using a soft brush, starting with toddler's toothpaste at 18 months. <laughs> it is a tough gig. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, every day, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Beer, wine, kebabs. You can hack it, can't you? I mean, you're tough. Well, yes, I mean, I am covered in enamel, which is the toughest part of your body. <laughs> and so as we bid our baby teeth goodbye, it's on to the adult years. By the time we're 12, we've normally lost most of our baby teeth and end up eventually with 28 permanent teeth. Hopefully they hang around until you die, <laughs> if you look after them. It's in this stage of our lives, thanks to our social habits, that our teeth cop the most punishment. So we need to clean regularly, folks. But Dr Livia Nahanowitz has a little advice on how we should be brushing our adult teeth. Gently. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people feel that they need to scrub their teeth really hard. You're not cleaning the tiles in the bathroom. If you scrub them too hard, you'll simply wear them away. Well, I would think that I have had a very rigid cleaning routine right from when I was a kid up until adulthood. Uh, yes, that's about the time that you discovered the evil grape juice. Mm. <gasps> a red wine! It, look, I was at uni and I have to say, that teeth were not at the front of my mind. Red and white wine have corrosive acids in it that attack my beautiful enamel and they stain me. Red wine is a little bit acidic, uh, so that can also eat into the surface of the tooth and damage the enamel and then make it easier for those teeth to become decayed. Uh, not to mention wearing them out and making them look kind of brown when you drink red wine, which isn't a good look. Did you know that 17.1% of Australians engage in risky drinking, which can lead to tooth decay and even some forms of cancer? Mm. And that's not it, is it, Joe? That's not the end of it, is it, Joe? <laughs> Uh, coffee as such isn't too bad, provided you're not adding extra sugar to it. Uh, but it will stain. Uh, acids then eat into the surface of the tooth, make little holes, and then allow the bacteria to get inside and have a little party. Oh, and that's that what tooth awful. decay is about. <laughs> in fact, the cost of treating tooth decay in Australia is $5 billion a year. And do you know why? <laughs> sugar! Are you OK? Sugar feeds the bacteria in our mouths, of which there are millions. Um, the bacteria then produce acids, and the acids is what's, what damages the teeth. We could all drink more water. Oh. Water, like saliva, helps wash away the sugars and the acid on the teeth, and it also contains fluoride. We could all drink more milk. 
<laughs> Milk contains calcium, which is essential for healthy teeth because calcium strengthens tooth enamel as well as the bone. Now that I see all that you go through for me, there you have it. Our teeth are with us for life. All we have to do is listen to what they tell us and give them a little bit of TLC.